On this video, I will cover two different lengths for this haircut. The first one, this undercut with a long curtain bangs. And on the second haircut, I will do the famous style of Ruel. For all of you that asked me about this particular hairstyle, here you have a very simple way to cut it and style it. Roll the tape. To quickly remove the hair and create a good base for the fade, I will use the three and a half metal comb on my clippers, cutting from the bottom up and separating at the end to create a graduation. To continue with the fade, use the number one and a half with a plastic guard comb up to the middle of the fade, about three to five fingers up on the back and two on the sides. To finish this fade, I will use the plastic guard of 1 16th to get that soft finish in the nape and the sideburns. Follow me on Instagram to see what I'm going to be doing next and to see some videos on the behind the scenes. Tomix next week, the video of Kawaki. I'll be doing his haircut and color. It's going to be super fun. To cut the size for this longer style, I will use the French cutting technique with the scissors using the point cutting technique. Continue the cutting line from long to short and from the front to the back, creating a diagonal that it goes forward following the jawline. On the iPad, I'm showing you this type of style of hair with different textures based on your feedback. I know a lot of you guys are from different parts of the world and have completely different texture. This particular undercut hairstyle works great with any texture hair. So if you were thinking of getting it done, do it. To cut the back of the head, I would use the condensed cutting technique using the twin combs. Use the side panel as a guide. Don't mix all the tips that I'm going to give you at the end of the haircut. The French technique starting from the center and traveling to the sides is perfect to create this graduation. On the iPad, you have a representation of what this cut looks like with hair with medium curls. As you can see here, it's very easy to see the cutting line. Follow the same diagonal line from the front to the back using the point cutting technique. Comb the hair back and with the finish shears, texturize the hair following the direction of the hairstyle. Use the solid blade of the scissors below and the thinning one on the top. To cut the interior part of this haircut, condense the hair on the back and cut it on this diagonal. This will create an effect of short to long. Continue the top by cutting the ends, pulling the hair at 90 degrees up and following the line. Cut as much as you feel is needed. To finish this style, you can comb the hair back and let it dry by itself. If you want to give it a little more volume and control, use a combination of clay and paste from 1821. This haircut is perfect for running your fingers through your hair. Blow dry the hair back to give it more volume. Use the brush and give it a twist with your wrist. Check how I'm doing this myself. If your hair is wavy or curly, in my opinion, this is the perfect length for you. Here is the longer version of this style. If you like this video, you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and share with your friends. It makes the biggest difference. Don't go yet, let's do right now Royal's famous curtain bands hairstyle. For the undercut section, use the same technique I did on the other one. Using the French cutting technique, I will cut the sides at the height of the earlobe. Be careful how much tension you apply on these areas. Always remember that the hair is going to shrink and it will get another finger shorter, so about the middle of the ear, when it gets dry. Texturize the back using this texturizing technique. If you are interested in seeing this type of undercut on a real model with curly or wavy hair, let me know in the commentaries. Texturize and detail the back by texturizing the hair on this direction. First, staying on the back, going from the front to the back, and then continue up on a diagonal. Check out the direction and the angle I'm using with my sears. What is this? Sorry, this hair has a stranger hair right here. The photo on the iPad shows the shortest version that I will ever do this style with. The curtain bends is a classic style for men's and women's that it comes back over and over and over and it's very popular right now. With the undercut, it works great for anybody with a lot of hair on the sides and it's very bulky. Let me know in the commentaries if the pictures I put on the iPads will help you out to see different lengths and textures. We are almost through, but don't go yet. Let me give you some more tips. Here you have the curtains haircut that you guys all asked for. This is a traditional 90s haircut that is being taken to the modern style.
really what I did different than the haircuts from the 90s like the Leonardo DiCaprio is what I did is I cut this short on an undercut before it was short into long blended so it was very heavy and bulky on this area I did it two different ways so I got a longer side so you guys could see only a longer version if you have fine hair maybe longer is going to be better for you if you got thick you can maybe go only a higher so and then I did the shorter version so you guys could enjoy both sides to style this hair the best thing to do is put some clay or some paste or some cream product and then slick the hair back what you do is you slick the hair back tuck it behind the ears like this and let it dry by itself naturally now when you comb this all back and let it dry naturally on the back like this when it falls back it's going to create a height on the middle and then the fall over on the sides I hope you loved this video if you did please give it a thumbs up consider to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos this is Angel Del Solar Love you all!